Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. Last episode, we beat Mytha, the Baneful Queen, and made our way to the Iron Keep. We didn't make it far in this place, but we made it a little bit um, into it. This episode, we are starting from the beginning. Why? Well, that's because there is actually one more invader you can fight at this spot before you enter, I guess, the main hub of the Iron Keep. If get this lovely person to spawn there it is Spencer Sharon this is the one you want to worry about oh and that's never a good sign I went ahead and uh, put great combustion on because we upgraded our fire or manty flame I'm gonna heal up because Spencer Sharon definitely wreck you Definitely seems like we gotta be good here. You can't just stun lock them. So stamp, stamp, back out. The red, I, I think I said this last episode. Um, the red phantoms in this game are a lot tougher, I feel like, than in any other Souls game. I'm gonna go back to my hide sword because, yeah, it's doing a lot more damage. Oh, that was a lucky catch right there. Let's see if I can just finish you. Oh, no. Eh. I'm so, so, I was so worried that he was going to use the special attack of that one sword in his right hand. Has a little range move that could have easily knocked me out, but we got lucky and we prevailed. Let's just run through. Actually, I'm probably going to switch to life gems just because this area... This area is a little tough. This area is a little tough between getting through the entirety of the area. I don't know why he was just staring at me. I'm um, getting through the entirety of the area with enough um, healing to get through the boss. Because the boss of this area is actually a challenge. Seems like we're gonna get every piece of a long night armor except for the katana that I want. Alright, this part. Um, we're gonna go to the catalyst for this. There is a ton of these Alon knights. Seemingly all over the place. We're gonna actually kinda hide out right here. I'm gonna shoot off a couple of sorceries, get some chip damage to this guy. It's not too much of a problem. I just recommend going slow and steady through this part. We're gonna jump down here so we can get a little bit of extra cover. Cause like I said, we have people shooting at us. We're gonna have mobs of um, pretty strong enemies that we cannot outrun. Uh, let's... Actually, no, no. Ow! That lever right there is going to drop that half of the bridge. We're going to hold off on that right now. We're going to actually go down here. We're going to pick up this item. Don't forget that item. Soul of Proud Knight and Repair Powder is always good. We're going to head up over here. And that is going to give us access to this guy right here. This is a long captain. A little bit stronger than the typical long knight. We are getting sniped by that guy all the way over there. I wanted to be over here because I want to take care of this guy for something later. Waiting for the arrow. <laughs> trying to ultra instinct it. Alright, cool. On my leggings. Got smacked in the head again. Let's open up the chest. Life ring plus one and some twinkling titanite. Pretty, pretty good loot. Pretty good loot from right there. Alright, let's go over here. And I'm going to take care of this guy before I even lower the bridge. Because he's been bugging me. What's up, buddy? Oh, what's wrong? I can reach you with my magic. Right, that is the first half of the bridge taken care of. 
Oh, that's a tragedy right there. Can I pick that up? <laughs> that's a tragedy. Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's go. I got it. Okay. Um, we are going. How do I want to pursue this? So if you drop this other half of the bridge, in theory, it makes things harder because if you die, then you, one, you can't plunge this guy. Two, it'll allow every single lawn knight on that side of the bridge to just kind of come straight after you. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna rotate this. That is gonna turn the fire off. I, oh God, I should've brought stuff. I didn't bring the stuff. We'll come back to that. Let's take care of this guy. Uh, we'll hold it for now, but we are gonna take care of you. The fact that he shot me from that steep of an angle is actually mind-boggling. Uh, now we're in here. This is turned off. This is kind of like a shortcut, I guess. It's an alternative route. Get that, we can get some large Titanite shards and a petrified dragon bone for the boss weapon we still do not have. And we can go get this item. Now this will actually allow you to skip this next boss, but unless you're going for like a no death run, I don't recommend it because there is a very good item you can get after this boss and also there's a very good weapon you can get with the soul of this boss so with that let's go over here we i pulled that then i did not pull that do i want to pull that i'm not gonna pull that i don't want to pull that i don't think i can live that though yeah no we're gonna come back for that actually there's a much better time to come back for that All right, so let's make the jump back Alright, we got a little bit more of this place to explore. This place, the first part of Iron Keep, is not that big. It's just riddled with enemies. Absolutely riddled with them. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut when I get back again, because I just literally went in a circle to get that item. Alright, and we're back. Let's go here... This guy is a little difficult to deal with, um, though we do have magic, so we kind of cheese it. And that's because his friends like to come down and spoil the fun. Let's see if we can get some chip damage in on one of them. All right, we gotta go. R1 spam. Oh, that's so beautiful. Who is this? I don't think this is anyone. Oh, it's Lucatiel. Okay, so we're gonna summon Lucatiel here. Ah, my babe. That's actually going to make this boss fight a little bit more fun. Alright, so... This jump right here... I almost messed that up. <laughs> Another petrified dragon bone. So if you've got a boss weapon, this is the time to upgrade it. Go up here. I believe this is the Zweihander? It is dark souls of one enthusiast this is another one of those um life healing springs i told you about i wouldn't recommend using a pharaoh's lockstone there unless you just need to or want to for some niche reason however here we are I'm gonna summon lucatil i did not have a ring equipped that whole time i take off the chloranthi ring to make my thumbnails because i feel like the effect would make my thumbnails look bad my thumbnails already look bad but you know we're gonna equip the gold pine resin and um we're gonna go red eye ring and we're gonna try to switch back to the silver serpent ring whenever we get the ko we get close so can i I can't use golden pine resin on it either. Can I really just lightning blade it? I guess I can just lightning blade it. All right, uh, so we're not gonna worry about that. We got spells, we got this. All right, we're good to go. Let's go get wrecked. 
This is Smelter Demon. This might be one of the best bosses in Dark Souls 2. Very aggressive, very strong, multiple phases, cool mechanics. Big boss team. Just 10 out of 10 fight. 10 out of 10 fight. So as you fight the Smelter Demon, it's going to go through these phases. The first phase is a damage over time phase. It gets a little bit of a defense buff. On top, is it will do damage over time. I like to use life gems for this to offset the damage. As you can see, I'm losing health, but I'm also kind of gaining health at the same time. You just want to stay aggressive. This is the second part. This is the sword buff sword will now have a couple of extra characteristics to it such as a little bit of a, like a fire range attack and it just does a whole lot more damage see it's right there kind of shot off the fireball smelter demon is one of those bosses you're just gonna have to learn the attack patterns to and just dodge the hits always roll into it whenever it does that dive just back up because sometimes it pulls sword out like oh i'm all nice and happy and not gonna hurt you and other times, he's going to blow up. When he blows up, you're probably going to die because you're not expecting it, and you're going to get really mad. And as you can see there, he has a large uh, sweeping radius, so just be careful. Luca Teal is being an excellent tank, really living up to the name of the Mariah. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. That Smelter Demon is defeated, though. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be, but that's mostly because of Luca Teal. Luca Teal carried me. Thanks, Luca Teal. Love you, babe. Mwah. All right, with that being done, we're going to head up here. We're going to rest at this bonfire now. We are going to actually rest, take a little seat. And then we are going to, one, we're going to loot this. And second, we are going to return to the Smelter Demon's boss arena because there's something for us there. We get a porcelain shield and some flame butterflies. Gotta head down here. And look who it is. There's a lot of people that go the whole game without um, seeing this one. This pursuer, which for all good reason, because after you kill Smelter Demon, like why would you come back down here? I wonder if the Chaos Raper is any good. Okay, the Chaos Raper is actually pretty good damage wise. It makes sense why the Elon Knights have resisted uh, fire or resist fire damage, but only pursuer. Let's do our normal strategy of strafe right and roll, roll a couple attacks here and there. Stamina up, gonna do that. Yeah, by the end of your adventure, you should become a pro at fighting pursuers with all the pursuers we fought. I think this is like the the seventh. We fought the boss one, and then we fought the one in things betwixt. There was three in the Bastille. I don't know. Anyway, you get the Ring of Great Blades. Ring of Rays. Ring of Blades plus one. Just give you a little extra attack boost to basically any weapon in the game. Alright, with that, let's head back to Majula because there is a couple of things I want to do now that we got some souls. Alright, back in Majula, before we go ahead and spend our souls, let's go over to Mothlin. Because Mothlin has some stuff. As you can see, Ladersmith Gilligan's over there. We're not going to talk to him yet. We're not worried about him yet. You need armor. So after defeating the Smelter Demon, and I think that's, yeah, it's the only other boss we have. You can get the Smelter Demon armor. Now, this is something I very much recommend you buy because of the fire defense. It actually has some of the best fire defense in the game. Thanks for the purchase. And Do we are going to need it to travel across some of the little fire plume things to get items. 
And let me check out this girl. Does she have anything yet? She does not have anything yet. We are going to be needing to get Soul P. Yeah, should I get it now? Might as well get it now. I have the Soul. Soul P's will come relevant later on. I need and Valencia. Let's go to you. I want to buy a couple more of your life gems. Yeah, let's just max it out. Why not? All right. With that, let's head back over to Iron Keep, and we're gonna get that chest, and then explore deeper. All right. Now that we're oh, I didn't put flash sweat on. Shit. I'm gonna see if we can. I'm gonna see if we can still do this. We might still be able to do this. I can't equip the full set due to. Actually, I might be able to. I can barely squeeze it on. Okay, that's perfect. And then we're gonna put on a small orange burr. I'm not sure if we're gonna. No, there's no shot. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna come back with flash sweat because that was just, that was stupid on my part. All right, so. Small orange burr. Flash sweat. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's not good. That's not gonna work. We need more HP or something. All right, so we're actually gonna just come back to that later when we have more HP. I'm gonna flash up on screen what the item is in that box because I feel like an a-hole for not being able to show you guys, but I just don't have the... I don't have the HP to do it right now. <laughs> so let's put back on our old... We'll do a lawn knight, why not? We'll, we'll embrace the lawn knights in this area. Put on that, we need our rapier. Chaos Rapier and our good old Sorcerer Staff. All right, and we are over encumbered, even with the Royal Soldier's Ring. That is always a good time. So we're not gonna use Chaos Rapier. And yeah, yeah, we'll run with that. All right, cool. Heading deeper into the Iron Keep. As you can see, this is where that ladder will take you. Gonna keep on going now. You're gonna see here, you have two long knights, you have a turtle in the background, but the turtle in the background isn't focused on you, no. He's focused on destroying the bridge. Three hits and he'll destroy the bridge, however you can get his attention in any way, shape, or form he will come at you. These are a little bit different than the turtles from Force of the Fallen Giants because they are not, this guy's not rusted. So one of my favorite things to do here, oh, we're gonna save his friends. Good job, just a hero. One of my favorite things to do here. Bye bye. Ow. Alright, let's bring him back up. Because we are technically not worried about this area yet. We are going to go in here first. And we are going to use this Pharaoh's Lockstone. That has allowed us to punch a hole through this wall. And then we can climb up this ladder. Climbing up this ladder will put us in this little upward or upstairs room. Get a view of everything. Yeah, Thunder Quartz Ring, which is not going to help us now, might help us later. And we get a bonfire here. We're going to rest at said bonfire and we're going to climb up this ladder. And here we are at a fog wall. And if you remember this guy. You want to guard the bell, do you? For the princess, that prince, forever, for true. You do not want to guard the bell. Useless fool. Filthy undead. Be gone right now, 
rinse off with your head. <laughs> what a swell fellow. Anyway, we're gonna end it off here, uh, this episode. We defeated the Smelter Demon, and we got through the first half of the Iron Keep. Next episode, we're gonna continue exploring deeper into this sunken castle. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time.